What would happen if you put the 2006 Edmonton Oilers in 2023? We're going to find out in this video. The ratings are based off NHL 07 as that was the game released right after the Oilers made the run to the cup final. Some ratings I changed up a bit like Fernando Pisani because it just made no sense that he was a 76 rated in NHL 07 after the playoffs he had in 06. Same with Jason Smith who was a 79 rated, Al Shemsky was 83 rated. Fortunately, some players were already in the game like Smith, Rolison, and Pronger as alumni. The lines are based off games 5 and 6 of the Stanley Cup Final. Shout out to Tyler Mulek on Twitter who suggested a couple X factors for some players. I honestly don't know anything about those. So I just simulated the first 50 games of the season. Here's how things are going standings and points leaders for the Oilers. Hemsky leads the team in points with 42. Pekka has the most goals at 22. Chris Pronger has 35 points. Smith, 13 goals. Same with Pisani. Overall, the goal scoring seems to be evenly spread out. Rolison has a 909 save percentage and a 2.88 goals against average. We're currently second in the Pacific behind Vegas with 56 points and 26 wins. Let's simulate to the end of the season now. Okay, so Alish Hemsky finishes as the team's leader in points with 71, and Pekka is the only player to score over 30 goals with 32. Ryan Smith with just 19 goals. What's funny is that in 2006, Smith scored 36 goals and Pekka had 9 in 71 games played. Pronger has 52 points in the sim, and in the 2006 season, he put up 56, so super close there. We also barely made the playoffs with 89 points in the Pacific with 39 wins. For comparison, the team in 2006 went 41, 28, and 13 with 95 points. So a slightly worse record as well here. Time for the first round where we take on the San Jose Sharks. We take game 1, 4, 2. Game 2 is a blowout for us, beating the San Jose Sharks 7, nothing. Game 3 goes the other way with the Sharks winning 3-1. San Jose then takes game 4 with a score 3-2 to tie the series. And would you look at that, we're on the brink of elimination. The Sharks barely win this one 2-1. And unfortunately, we bow out in the first round of San Jose, losing Game 6 3-0. We had a little bit of hope in the beginning, but not enough fight or heroics like the 2006 Oilers. So in the year 2023, we couldn't recapture what the 05-06 Oilers did. However, if you'd like to see more content like this, comment down below some ideas. Or if you'd like to see more NHL content. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Nation Network. And head to OilersNation.com for more.